I'd be very extremely happy if Eclipse won this because Eclipse is awesome, dude. But yeah, looks like we're getting our predictable characters from both sides. We're going straight in here with a Mewtwo and Weavile. I also, I kind of want to see a shot of Mewtwo Weavile, but that matchup sounds like it'd be really awful for shot of Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah. Dying quick, getting your uh, projectiles nullified. Not the most fun thing in the world. <laughs> but you got Togekiss. Togekiss, pretty sure. Yeah, Togekiss Mewtwo, again, a force to be reckoned with. Extremely terrifying. So here we are, guys. Winner's finals at Eye of the Storm 2 in Omaha, Nebraska. Best of five. This is the set. This is this is it. I wonder, We're in the final stretch. I wonder how Terrier is going to handle Taunt, because that's been Eclipse's pretty much go-to for a lot of his set matches today. Right. Taunt, uh, Night Slash, and then waiting out the Night Slash and canceling into something like a block is just ridiculously good. That was really good neutral play there. Mm -hmm. uh, in field phase from Terrier, able to get a nice instant JY for the confirms there. Into the... Oh, he jumps against the... Probably wants to go for instant JY again, but uh, Eclipse is lucky. Oh, he's jump to the we got the uh, attack on the grab though, that's big damage. Big Itadia's damage. really feeling out Eclipse right now. It's kind of just like letting him do what he wants, and Eclipse is kind of getting punished for it because Hater's just waiting. Yeah, if you play this patiently, Mewtwo, Mewtwo's a great way to punish characters yeah. as well. Wow, there's an instant JY. Mewtwo barely took any damage there. Yeah, he's really just abusing Eclipse's lack of patience so we can hear yelling real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> oh. Oh, but yeah, I understand. Like, it can be frustrating when, like, you think you have the opening, but the other player just, like, was already ready, just calling you out. Right, exactly. And that, that's the thing about, like, formidable, like, unbreakable opponents is really, really terrifying. To deal with someone who has so much patience, ready to whip punish, ready to call out any mistake. Here. And Eclipse, definitely, you know, we've a character that likes to press buttons. Eclipse, a player that likes to press buttons. Things kind of work out there. But I don't know how that's going to fare against kind of Mutator's cool, calm, collected, you know, method of playing here. There's another homing attack to catch him. Even though Eclipse has the speed boost, he tries to go for a oh grab, God. walks back, and whip punishes the 8Y with another he is grab. Try, I think he's trying to catch an instant air dash, but Mutator wasn't willing to throw it out, and now Mutator's just going to keep punishing oh this over. Oh my like, goodness! There's not enough patience from Eclipse to like, just wait for out the white option. Eclipse is pressing buttons. Those are going to mix up. That Schwa is not going to be punished. He's going to 8X right over Mutator's 2Y, and he gets a Fury Swipe's punish. Eclipse is still in this, even if he's at 1 health. Wow, he dashes up after his CA and gets another 8Y, beating out Mutator's 8Y, charging CA, trying to get in Mutator, or uh, oh, uh no. Eclipse still playing okay. aggressively even though he's at one health this is really really tight right here charging I mean, that fake out you can see like right now like Mutator is just so confident to wait because Eclipse isn't throwing out anything that's threatening and it, there is 15 seconds left in the clock he could time out we got burst activation here I like that you force the burst just in case you do lose around you there have that buffer there is a Togekiss burst here burst. gotta be really careful man Mutator just like these fake knows. outs. How to be safe. Oh, oh he burst the homing attack the one time. Mutator's like, maybe I should throw a poke in there after holy shield forever. Eclipse is like, let me give you my armored burst attack. But now Eclipse has to be careful because Mewtwo got so much resource and he just got the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So now uh, it's like your full meter and his support. Full meter support. <laughs> Granted, Tokus is up, but it's also like, you have to be careful. You don't want to just get put in the corner by the unblockable Mewtwo. Right. So it's up to Eclipse to kind of just like make sure his game plan works Ooh. and not let Mutator abuse him. Gets a, gets a good punish on Mutator's grab right there after the homing run. Mutator Ooh, too. nice save movement after the CDC goes into Taunt. Very smart play there from Eclipse. He gets the signature Taunt Ice Lab. Or rather, he Taunt canceled. It's a different punch there. He's going to knock off to actually remove a bit of that meter. So no longer does Mutator have burst on deck. Wow! Nice Grabs right after the 6 wild block. Mutator is just now kind of trying to change it up because Eclipse got into like what will beat Mutator now. Kind of like just the adaption. Ooh, Ooh, trying to go for grab after the homing on block and there's just another homing from Eclipse. Oh, oh hey, there's no. a fire punch. Not going to be a proper punish here. Yep. That was a good mix-up there for uh, Mutator not to go for the second game of fire punch. There's confusion. There's 2x with the jux. I expect him to commit from Eclipse's one. part. But now Eclipse has to play like... A little on back because he's out of burst and now Mewtwo's bursting up. So if you get an ice about energy, to be up though. it would be very helpful right now. Wow, that did actually yeah, not that, good. That was weird. Yeah, I guess I'll just the, the it was couple picks there. Oh, the Torikis pop is going to allow Mewtwo to get the homing attack in. Now we're in dual phase. He's in the corner. There's a JY. He gets oh the taunt. Night slash cancel into a dash grab. No fear from Eclipse running. He has half meter. 15 seconds left on the clock. Oh. There's going to be a counter from Mutator there. Is he home here now? Yeah. There's a Rotom. going to stop a clay's from jumping. It's going to potentially have an unlock. Ooh, Ooh, he did the nose that cancel right there. So about to fade out. Rotom, there's a 6Y. Tries to oh, grab, no. though. He's going to get, inst uh, he's not instant JY, but he's going to get a, yeah. a jump JY, and it's going to crit. And that first game goes to Mutator. That One really grab close. too many. That was really close, though. Yeah, that, uh, unfortunate. I mean, the grab crits, like committing to such a thing, is so. It's risky on both ends, but I feel like if you tech a grab, you're rewarded so much more than actually getting a grab for, like, a majority but of the time. It's also like Eclipse kept opting for a grab because it was what was working. And it's like, okay, if he's grabbed me three times, 
and we're down to a last hit situation. Odds are he's gonna try and grab me again. Right. And me right. like, I'm just press a button here. You're gonna exactly. take some damage. So it's like, it's unfortunate for Eclipse, because I get it, like, it was the thing that was working, but it's also, you have to kind of keep aware that your opponent also adapt. knows what's working. Exactly. Ooh, Ooh, right out of the range of the confusion. Gets caught by only attack after charging. Mutator gonna take and the, the duel, first field. What's the mix up? Ooh, dashes up a hole, waits out the 8x actually from Mutator, anti airs it with 8y. Sorry, 8x from Eclipse, and then Mutator anti airs it with 8y. Very smart there. Yeah, now we're going to see what's going to happen, because Eclipse is now super far behind against this Mewtwo. He doesn't even have that much synergy, so even if he gets the phase, he's not guaranteed. And That's now it's like just Three phases behind. currently in Mutator's favor, and he's not gotten a single point of damage on Mutator just yet. There's a Togekiss pop, but this is looking really rough. Yeah, this is a right super now. frustrating situation, because now you have to win every mix-up. And you don't even have Burst to fall back to as Weavile, because you didn't win any phases. Yeah, exactly. All three phases so thus far have gone to Mutator. Ooh, tries to catch the... with the Psycho Kite cancel. Eight -wide. There's some damage. He's got an 8-Y. Into some Icicle, into some nice Ice Punch right there. Good damage. He wasn't raged, so it's going to stack up just a bit more. Eclipse really needed that, because Mutator's trying to make him overcommit on these approaches. But unfortunately, he's going to lose yet another field phase. So he won't have... Burst we'll for burst, this yeah. last mix-up. There's a 6 y See, look, there's the instant air dash again, expecting oh, grab. Oh, gets but the there grab. He's going to get burst here. He's probably going to want to pop it. This is really, really tight for Eclipse. Oh, no. no! He takes the risky play of trying to grab him. Maybe wanting to save Mewtwo for the next round. But unfortunately, Mewtwo is going to homing cancel it into his own grab. Not going to be a critical hit, but definitely going to take yeah, the, it the round. It makes sense, though, out. because like you're going to die to any hit even if you pop burst. So is it really worth the risk of popping burst just to die and lose it? <laughs> and that's fair, right? You kind of have to play. The, the combat the factor reward. is still a possibility. Exactly. It's a risk reward scenario that you have to assess for yourself. Looks like Clips wasn't feeling using burst that round. Now he's got it this round. Hasn't popped it yet though. Looks like he's constantly being put in disadvantage where he doesn't feel like he can push oppressively enough to actually use burst to its full effect. Right now he's just kind of sitting in the back. All right, here's a burst. Let's see if he can turn the Ooh, ties. That was gosh. a nice dash of grab there from Meteor. Unfortunately, the spacing didn't work out there. Meteor, perfect block, a, a block break. <laughs> There's an 8Y into Ice School Crash. The knockoff confirmed. Less resource on Mewtwo's end here. There's going to be a wake up grab, or rather, Oki grab. Go back in the field. Togekiss is on deck. Here we go. And yeah, now it's up to Mewtwo to kind of find his way in like it was Eclipse's last round. Because Eclipse caught Mewtwo trying to catch these approaches. But if you're constantly getting approached on by too much pressure, like it's hard to just fight back. Especially against Weavile when it's burst Weavile speed. We caught him with the little confusion there to a homie confirm. Mutator's not out of this yet. Health is looking pretty even. Oh, this is actually really scary because Tokes or not Tokes, is up. Yeah, Rotom's up. There's a crit fire punch. That's gonna Thunder Punch is gonna take the second game here from Mutator. Mutator's up 2-0 right now in winners finals here. One more game and he's moving on to grand finals winner's side. Mutator's looking real strong in this set. Eclipse is having trouble dealing with Mutator's kind of in and out weaving gameplay where sometimes hold back, play it patient, sometimes Mutator's in his face, pressing buttons, and maybe Eclipse is gonna try to go for a grab or something's gonna get beat out there. So Eclipse has to make a lot of adjustments if he wants to take this third game and reverse the set back into his favor. I don't think it's so much adjustments, but she just has to be willing to play so like right when he's waiting and doing his taunt cancels to bait out um, Mutator's like kinda like anti air wise like I'm gonna take your grab type of approaches. But he's not willing to he's just constantly looking to be in Mutator's face or try to find some button to throw out. So it's like he has a part of his game plan that's clearly working, but he's not playing to the part of the game plan that is working. He's playing more towards so like what he wants to play and that's both good and bad you never want to always fully give up on your style but you also right. don't want to let someone else just run away with it because you don't want to change exactly yeah that balance between adaptation and sticking to your guns you can't make two wild plays right and there there was a nice whip punish on the six y with a grab i feel like mutator at this point just knows what eclipse is looking for most of the time like eclipse is still fine like his ways to weave in and out on occasion but mutator just has much more of a down on his opponent whereas eclipse i think is almost wanting it too much like he really honestly wants to win and get like that big upset, that big tournament. Yeah. But man, it is it's so hard when you want it too much. Exactly. When you want it too much, you're gonna start playing really risky. And wow, he went for the full counter on the fire spin. Oki, that's going to get crit grab. Extremely risky situation. He just and I think that's part of it, right? For like people like Mewtwo and Thanksgiving, like they know that they can win and they have one to prove it. Right. So they can have that calm and be like, okay, it's fine if I go down here. Because I know in the long run I have the skill to make it back. Whereas Eclipse doesn't have is like his big win. He has, yeah. He's he's itching for it here. This exactly. is what he's looking for. And it's like that's kind of the issue, right? Like he doesn't know if like if that one moment's gonna be his last moment or like if that was his best chance. As you can see now, like yeah, he's trying he's to force a lot of risky much. moves. Yeah, he's trying to force situations to go into his favor right now. Oh, he's playing around. That's gonna be a perfect. 
That's gonna close it out here in our third game of Winner's Finals. Mutator takes it over Eclipse. Moving on to Grand Finals here on Winner's Side. Eclipse dropped down to Loser's Finals. Uh, is gonna be awaiting winners of whoever comes out on top in Loser's Bracket.